G'day, in today's episode we've got a quick and easy Satsuki Azalea, there's porcelain pot making from a true Chinese master and a big windswept Japanese black pine. I've started them over 30 years ago and in recent years I've neglected them somewhat but there's still the possibility there and come and have a look at this one. I've had a dilemma this, I, I couldn't make up my mind, you see it's braided, it was three trees that I, that I braided together about 30 years ago and now this main trunk is coming up here yet there's one trunk that hasn't fully braided, it's still sitting there, it's sort of sitting on the outside, these two have welded together and what I'm wondering is if in here, see this wonderful part in here where there's a downward growing branch and the wonderful bark. I'm thinking about maybe taking off this main trunk over here, this, this one here, if I cut this one off or maybe put an augmented gin in there then, uh, then it'll be interesting to see what we can do with this tree. And of course there are many possibilities. I always like to begin by cutting off the bigger branches first and slowly working my way back to the smaller one. I then cut back all of the smaller branches into the basic canopy of the shape that I'm seeking. This is almost like trimming a hedge. The next step is to pull away all the lower needles, that's the needles that are on the lower side of the branches. By doing this the energy is directed to the upper side and new buds can form readily. I then use my secateurs to gouge away and make a natural looking gin. The upward going branch is coming off, I did put an aerial layer on that but that's on the longer version on the DVD. In the longer version I also put some screws through that branch that hasn't welded but I don't think it's going to take. Anyhow I'm going to repot the tree, root prune it and see if I can invigorate it a bit and see if that branch grows but alas it doesn't. So there's only one thing to do and that's to take the screws out and take that tree out of the equation. I don't think it does anything for anything. Then I can snap off the candles that are emerging. This makes for shorter growth and if I cut the needles in more light gets into the stem and hence I get more growth. And of course I love dolomite. Dolomite really does well with the pines. I apply dolomite liberally. That place where I cut off the upward growing branches and healing well so I carve it back to cambium layer where I can see green growth in the sap and I'm going to cover it off with a sealant to try and get some callousing around the edge there. And then it's more wax on and wax off. Because we need to get light into the stems to form new buds it's necessary to thin out the needles either by plucking or you can cut them as I did earlier. If you cut them it doesn't really matter, I mean they will brown on the ends but in a year or two the old needles fall off and you get a mass of much smaller and more compact needles. I've chosen to make a larger gin where that wound won't heal up because of the braiding. I'm using my chops to get a natural sort of look that's inspired by the notion that an animal has come along and used the tree to sharpen its claws. I'll sand away and try to get as natural appearance as possible before I add lime sulphur. I mix lime sulphur, one part lime sulphur and three parts water and paint that onto the gin and it acts as a preservative and also gives a ghostly white appearance. With the onset of the following spring, new candles emerge all over the bonsai. As these candles elongate, the needles emerge from them, resulting in a luxuriant pad of green foliage. At this time I can prune off any unwanted shoots that are extending beyond the pad and then a little bit more wiring to bring the tree into shape and into line. Of course this is a work in progress and a bonsai is never finished. <music> Yigashi
就可以完工了。这个在宋代的时候就开始有的，的话，这是叫五彩，啊、呃，这仿康熙的，这个呢是一个仿那个康熙年间的康熙年间的一个八角花盆，它有八个角，一共有八个角。这个八个角呢，就是要求的至少是要呃成平，高低也就形成怎么呢？凹凸不平的话呢就不行，这是一个烧成上的难度。第二个难度呢就是呢，这个本本身这个器型比较大，烧起来就是容易呢塌陷，容易塌陷的。它经过不断的试制以后呢，就是达到达到了现在这种效果。这个是通过两次烧成的，一个是先是烧像这种白胎，先烧好，烧好以后再采废，采废是通过这是一种呢仿那个古代五彩的一种采法，不跟现在的粉彩有区别的，就是花鸟图案，八面都有，八面都有，都是属于机枪图案的这喜鹊眉，啊。这是一般花草，这是一个工人画的吗？嗯、呃，一个人画的。他大概花了多长时间呢？呃、这个像画一个这个，包括填好以后，至少是在一个礼拜左右时间。嗯，这个角呢，这个角的是也有讲究的，这叫如意图案，就根据中国古代意思传过来的，像这种都是。既强如意的意思，这八个角子重新粘上去的，所以烧起来的就是仿康熙年间的。Satsuki azaleas are much admired in bonsai for their beautiful flowers and the luxuriant green foliage all year round. Here's a way to make a quick and easy flowering satsuki bonsai. This one here, a year ago, was like this. It was just a, a long, scrappy thing, and I took the thinnest leader, like that one there, that thin one, and wired it into an interesting shape. Bit of curvature in it. You see, azaleas are very brittle, and they break quite readily if you, uh, if you go to snap to, to bend the wood. What I'm going to do now is basically pick off the branches that I don't want. They're essentially those that are growing up too much, or those that are crossing over others. That branch there can come off. Less is more, is my motto in bonsai styling. So that's starting to, to show it a little bit there already. And then I plant the azalea back into the plastic pot. And following spring, a luxuriant new pad of growth has emerged. At this time, you really have two choices. One is to let the branches grow long and hence thicken up the trunk and branches. Or if you're not overly concerned with a big, bulky, heavy trunk, you can start clipping away and forming the bonsai right there and then. Then give the roots a little bit of a trim and it's time to pot the tree into a bonsai pot. Of course, there's gauze over the holes and some potting mix on the bottom then. I put a bit of mix around the top and then some slow-release fertilizer which can be buried into the potting mix and this helps to retain some of the nitrogen from wafting off into the air in humid weather. Because azalea wood is so brittle, it's a good idea to cut away your wire with a pair of wire cutters. This reduces the risk of breaking the wood. Then clip, clip, clip away. For a more dramatic effect, you may leave that bottom right hand branch to grow long and have a sweeping look out that side. But I've chosen at this time to chop that branch off. And these vigorous shoots that have come out here, we have two options. One, we could leave them grow to sacrifice later and further thicken up the branches. Or in the short term, we can just pluck them off. But then the trunk won't get as thick. And at this stage I'm not going to prune anymore because all the tips are covered in flower buds. And at the end of the third spring we have a mass of beautiful pink flowers. As time passes these fade to white. So there's a quick and easy Satsuki Azalea Bonsai.